front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm out here at the Christmas tree shops. It's a bummer, this one's closed. They're all closed, unfortunately. Christmas tree shops filed for bankruptcy back in 2023 and shut down all of their stores. I was in this store once before, and it was actually a really nice store. It's a large one anyway, and it has some of the best characteristics on it that I've seen at a store in a long time. Especially love the entrance way, which I'll show you here in just a moment. This is a pretty big store. I'm pretty I'm pretty certain this one was bigger than the one in Erie, PA. And obviously, if I can find any photos from inside of this when it was open, I'll try to share those at the end of the video. But anyway, it's a nice, mild day out here in late January. And I figured, why not? Let's do this without a hoodie. Anyway, let's go outside, check it out. There she is. Look at that building. Pretty sure that time is accurate, too. I think it's 3 o'clock. Yeah, it is. So the clock still works. But anyway, here we are. Uh, we won't be able to see a whole lot in there except through this doorway here, the entrance. But like I said, if I can, I'll put pictures at the end of the video. Look at that, though. Love this building. I love the character to it. Even if those are just fake windows. Love that above the doorway. Hear the alarm going off. A couple baskets still sitting there. They never sold. Can you see them? I was grateful the one in Erie was selling them when they were liquidating the store. I hate that that store closed. Like I said, I stopped in here once before. Don't remember if I did a video or not. Is this a doorbell? Yes, it is. It worked, too. <laughs> Here's their exit. I don't th oh, there's a heater in there. Uh-oh. Maybe people do go in there. I don't know. I don't know if he's something if somebody came up here. What do you want? Just taking pictures. Can I come in? <laughs> Looks like a lot of fixtures still back there. Stuff they just never got rid of when they closed down. And I remember when I was here the last time. There's a Friendly's restaurant straight ahead. Probably can't see it that well on camera. It's right there. I ate there. I, I found food. I did it. And it was pretty good. I hadn't had friendlies in a while. Except for when I went to Gettysburg most recently. Car corrals. Still say the Christmas tree shops on them. Like that one there. Whoop. Can't go around this side of the building, but look at that scar. I just love this building. I want to see it be repurposed. Leave the characteristics of it. Yeah, I know you're going to have to do a little bit of work to cover up the scarring from Christmas tree shops. But I would leave this. I love that the clock still works, too. Oh, look at this. Look at this caterpillar. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to bother you. Just go enjoy your day. <laughs> He's almost in the mulch anyway, and there's no cars coming through here. I'm the only one in the parking lot. Of course, it looks like they did plow the snow in this parking lot since we have mounds of it here and back there. I'm just kind of curious why they would do that with this parking lot of a store that's no longer used.
There's car corrals over here. Big store. Like I said, the store goes all the way over here. Back behind that wall are the dumpsters and loading docks, which there's really nothing to see. There's really nothing to see over here either. Another scar. Can you imagine if another Christmas store would open up in its place? That would be great. We'll go check this out. I don't know what we'll see through that window, if anything. But I see another doorbell. <laughs> so naturally, we're going to do that. Customer pickup. Use that doorbell. I have to. Well, that one worked clear as day. Back into their warehouse. I'm surprised you can actually see as well as you can in there. Conveyor belts to unload the trucks. We got a much better view in here than I thought we would. We love our customers' health. Sign of the times. And they had a for sale sticker on that. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we did that. Guess we'll wrap up this video then. I knew we wouldn't be able to see a whole lot, but that's okay. This was fun nevertheless. Not too many things out here abandoned that I've been able to film. Or if I have, it just wasn't worth filming or checking out, to be completely honest. Oh well. Yeah, the whole reason I came out here was to film the Harrisburg Mall, because that closes at the end of January. I'm sure by the time you see that video, this one will already be up. We'll see. I have another mall video I haven't uploaded yet either. <laughs> I get in those moods where I don't want to film them for a long time, and then it seems to be like right after Christmas... When everything winds down, that's what I want to do, is just do mall videos, so... Oh, they come and go. I try to do content for everyone. Malls, retail, abandoned, dollar store videos, holiday videos. Try to do it all and have a good time. Ugh. Back into the bee. Anyway, that was fun checking that out. Like I said, stay tuned. If I find photos, you'll see those coming right up after this outro from when this was open and see whatever we can see in there back when it was open, liquidating, whichever. Anyway, I'm signing off, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care and stay awesome. Bye.